Hey, so uh, doing a quick contrast entry for uh, Dan over at uh, Dots and Loops. Should be wearing my, my uh, Dots and Loops t-shirt. I should have done more questions, but um, yeah, he dropped the contest while I was in Japan at the time my phone broke. Didn't save it, just he did a reminder, and I go, oops, I forgot to do it. Um, it is now the a day or two before the uh, <laughs> deadline, so I'm just doing a quick entry. Um, so he's, I guess for every 10 uh, questions you answer, I uh, get one entry or something. Uh, I think I actually have original pressings for both albums, so I'm not overly bothered. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to participate. So I'm just, I just uh, grabbed uh, 10 albums uh, for 10 questions. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I could use an upgrade of uh, seeds, especially if it's a mono, he didn't say. But uh, yeah, let's just jump in here. So I picked 10 questions um, that I could grab albums for without too much digging, um, without hopefully too much con controversy. Uh, his first question was Rod, Rod, um, Rod Todd Rodgren <laughs> involvement. So that was a pretty easy one. Um, well, Utopia, whatever. Uh, right there, his name on it. His, it's his, his stuff, whatever. Uh, not not a huge fan. It's, it's prog, whatever. It's, it's all right. Uh, title with fewer than 55 letters. We got Yeti by Amandul. Uh, original Japanese pressing. That one's actually a single disc version in Japan. Uh, number three, a record from high school, um, high school that you still own. I uh, got my original Nirvana uh, American pressing. Still got it. Probably need to trade that, but with the, the market tanking, uh, I'll hold on to that a little longer. Um, I don't think I've listened to that damn thing for 20 years, 30 years maybe. Um, uh, let's see, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Uh, I just couldn't grab uh, albums easily. Uh, first soundtrack. Um, that's question number seven. Skipped ahead. Uh, so that would be my fifth, um, the fourth response. Question number seven. Um, yeah, Blade Runner. I still have this. I, I don't know. I, I think this is the first one I bought that, especially that I still have. Um, probably bought this in middle school or high school. I don't know. It, I've had this for a while. Um, big Blade Runner fan, so hold on to that. Um, yeah, I, I had some like might have been more controversial. I, I have stuff from, you know, when I was, you know, like early 80s, like Pac-Man and stuff. I don't know if that counts as a soundtrack. Yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll go with that one. Um, so yeah, I've, I've had that since like late 80s or early 90s probably. Um, let's see, uh, num question number eight, which is my fifth question. Um, good $5 record everyone should have. Yeah, love this album. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still get this for yeah, around five. I think I get slightly more five, but yeah, I, I see it around all the time for a relatively cheap. Must have um, Cindy Lauper's first one. Um, yeah, I, I do actually really like that album. Um, okay, I reckon I'm going to uh, my sixth answer, or question number nine, a record that defines you 25 years ago. Um, I listened to a lot of the uh, Garage Revival at the time, so I'm going with, uh, love this one. Uh, the Head Coats, uh, what's the actual title on this one? Influence, influencing the Stars of Tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm like, I think it's a clear vinyl, as I recall, but yeah. Okay. Probably bought this like mid '90s, but uh, pretty pretty typical of my uh, mid to late uh, '90s stuff. I was really I, I bought a lot of uh, noise bands. I bought a lot of garagey kind of stuff. Um, uh, skipping ahead a little bit, uh, question 15, which is my seventh response. Uh, PJ Harvey Dry for uh, a record that is a horrible pressing. It just sounds like utter crap. I really regret buying this one. Um, CD sounds so much better. Um, I'll, at some point, I'll probably sell this when I get a CD copy. <laughs> it, yeah, the, that particular pressing, um, UM, whatever, I guess Universal Music, it sounds like utter crap. Um, 
but yeah, it's one of those ones I had in CD, bought on vinyl, and regretted it. Uh, so I need to get on CD again. Um, uh, skipping ahead slightly. Uh, eighth response, question 22. I own this record because someone said I should. I don't know. This is just what came to my mind because I remember uh, Sean and I had a <laughs> discussion. Um, underwhelmed by this one. Uh, Magma and DK. Oh, that actually works for uh, titles with fewer than five letters, too. Um, but uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, it's good. It's not, it's not a bad album, but not. 100% in my wheelhouse. Um, streaming some of their later stuff, I tend to agree with Sean. Uh, you're better off the later stuff, but uh, for some reason, that's the one that shows up in the VC um, a lot. Uh, skip that a little bit to question 29 for my ninth um, ninth response. Instructional record. That was an easy one. I just had to sit that there. Uh, <laughs> breaking news. I don't know why. Uh, it's a series of uh, 40 box set of 45s. This must be like 50s um, on how to take dictation. Might be good for samples or something. I don't know. Um, if someone wants that, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's definitely instructional. And comes with the instruction booklet and everything. As far as I know, it's complete for what it's worth. Um, I skipped ahead a little bit. Uh, scary record, unintentional or not? Um, probably intentional. Um, Yamashite, uh, I think this is the trio. Um, yeah, I think it's the Yamashita trio, anyway. Um, Yamashite, was it Tokashi, I think? Tr yeah, trio, and then, um, yeah, this is. Uh, Arashi. This this actually is a really rare album, and then I found this is a, actually a white level white label promo, which makes it even more rare. Um, so uh, this is considered to be one of the last great Japanese you know jazz albums. Uh, came out mid to late seventies. It, it's pretty freaky. <laughs> um, so as far as I can tell, yeah, it's got um so it's like a you know that japanese um dance but yeah, pretty pretty freaky stuff um as far as i can tell it's like about um like nuclear holocaust or something it comes like a little booklet um yeah so it's got some pretty freaky stuff so it was only performed live and it's, it's some pretty freaky stuff. Um, as far as I know, there's no recordings of this other than the still images. But yeah, it's, it's pretty freaky looking. <laughs> it's even scarier listening to it. <laughs> a lot of uh, it, it would not be out of place in a haunted house or something. Um, so yeah, that, that's uh, ten responses. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm doing here. Um, so everyone have a good evening, and I'll have to drop uh, another uh, spin video pretty soon. I got a little stack on there. Um, get these. I want to get these ones filed away because I'm been so friggin' busy lately. Um, so take care, everyone, and uh, yeah, thanks for uh, doing another contest, Dan. Um, cheers.